Hello and welcome to Locked in the Green Room with me, Matt Holborn. Now, the Green Room is the musician's limbo, and it's where we sit and wait for our gigs to start. And as musicians now, we're currently finding ourselves in the position where we're waiting for our gigs to start again. So, I'm asking you to join me in this virtual green room where I'm going to be chatting to musicians from all over the world, all types of music, all aspects of music about how they are dealing with the current situation. We're going to be covering everything and anything about living in this new world of social distancing. So this first episode is with the amazing clarinetist Adrian Cox. As this is a new podcast and I'm waiting for iTunes to pick us up, uh, I am starting by posting full videos up on my YouTube channel. This is probably what you're watching right now. Soon we'll be moving on to all the podcast platforms and apps, uh, but bear with us. Um, so without further ado, I hope you enjoy listening to me and Adrian having a little chat about everything that's going on and how we are feeling. Thanks very much. Yeah, put it more into view. Um, just talking to Adrian. Okay. How you doing? I'm good. Are you all right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's all very weird, isn't it? It's fucking really weird. It's really it's, uh, weird. And that's why I wanted to do this, you know. I feel like I, I saw you I saw like all your live streams and stuff and I think it's so cool. Cuz it's just like I don't know. Everyone's just stuck at home. Like all of us we're all just stuck at home and we're also used to like being out and and hanging well, out with people and doing the gig and then and then like just like seeing your mates as well. Well, that's a weird one cuz you would so we're people who are definitely out all the time. I mean, I've been on tour all year. Yeah. So it's like, I don't, it, I've got to be honest, I'd actually taken five weeks off. So, you- <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was meant to be going to New York and going to see some things and other things. But um, it's just the freedom that's gone, especially as musicians, because we have a lot of freedom anyway. If we don't want to get up till three in the afternoon we don't but almost now we're being sort of told that you don't have to get up till three we yeah. sort of want to get up and do more yeah <laughs> so is that is that how it's working for you then are you sort of like you are you going hard you're getting up well, and doing more yeah i'm getting up um what did i do this morning i got up at nine i mean not early but yeah. no, i got up at quarter to nine actually and then and then by nine o'clock i was doing a hit workout jesus for 15 minutes, because I thought, well, actually, all I've done for the last week is not really gone out, sat around. Um, I've been doing things, but not yeah. very active. So yeah, it's just been a bit weird. Obviously, tried to have a play uh, online, which I saw that you tried to do with Harry and Kurosh, which went fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it doesn't work. What's funny is I, I got I'm on I'm on a bunch of these. Some a lot of people have like added me to these uh, musicians during the virus like groups and there's loads of like there's loads of people on there being like hey has anyone tried like jamming with their friends on skype and i was just like (laughs) i'm gonna show you what happens it doesn't work and it definitely doesn't work but there's a new interface isn't there have you seen it jam something oh no but i'll send you the link after this i'd be good if i knew what it was now wouldn't it what is it like just new now since the virus i've never ever heard but it's I wish I. When you're on a Skype, can you actually can you go out of it and look into something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I can look on my computer. So I do that. Do that. Right. I'm just going to do this, so it doesn't look like I'm actually doing this. <laughs> I mean, the it looks same, like you're actually as, doing. The same that we can't see your washing in the background, uh-huh. <laughs> which you've moved uh, into view a lot more. Oh right, Jesus, have I? Man, I'm yeah. a total idiot. It's so I'm, I'm jam. just leave the washing in there. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I like the washing. Here you go. Um, jam Kazam. Jam Kazam. There you go. I can't believe I can remember that. Jam's a jamkazam.com. And apparently that gives you more of a, a, a real-time uh, 
uh, uh, feel of playing with each other. Mm. Although I still think it's going to be slightly out. Man, it, I mean, I, yeah, I have to see it to believe it. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, we're going to have to try. Someone's going to have to try it. Well, I think I'm going to sign up to it and I'll invite you all to it. Okay. Do you re- what? Do you reckon someone's just like, as soon as this happened, they just went and programmed this thing, or do you reckon it? Or... I think it was always about. Yeah, because right, okay. people are using it. Also, people are using it for teaching. It's one of the good yeah. ones for teaching and yeah. being in their time. Yeah. Um, what's your day? How's your daily life changed? What are you doing when you get up? Well, you know, like a lot of it hasn't changed because I've got days like this, maybe like twice a week, where I'll yeah, I'll be like, right, well, I'm not teaching today, or I'm not gigging. I've got a gig in the evening, and I'm gonna just get up, I'm going to practice, and I'm going to sort of, you know, get on with emails and stuff. Yeah. The only thing that's changed is that that day is every day. Yeah, that's it. Like, you're, you're <laughs> able to do those days because you do all the other things. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Those days are fine. And when people go, oh, it's all right for a musician because you just sit around all day, get up late. Well, now they're finding out what it's really like, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, everyone's finding out what it's like to be a, to be a musician. That's true, actually. That's true. Although the thing is, I was going to chat to you, like, you know, how do you feel about, because like, as musicians, right, we've got certain people on our, on our social media, we've got lots of musicians, basically. Yeah. And the way that we're seeing this whole thing, I feel like it differs to how the way that non-musicians are seeing it, because if you speak to any non-musicians who just have like, like nine to five jobs, they're all a little bit less stressed about it. Everyone's like, "Oh yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it?" But like, I guess we'll just we'll just sort of be fine. But musicians, if you if you go on a musician's timeline, I think that's we should start yeah. like being able to like share our Facebook timelines or whatever with yeah, like with the non-musicians. whole thing. So well, because I've seen so I've seen I've noticed a lot of people. Well, th- there's a, there's a bigger element to this is that because we play music, we're all slightly egotistical in, oh, yeah. in a certain fashion. So all our egos are starting to show now because. Um, our job is. Uh, I was talking to someone this morning about this, and this is this is me not not putting putting an even more of a downer on any of it. But we're very no, privileged. It, we're very privileged yeah. with what we do yeah. as musicians. We play we play music, and yet I agree we should all get paid well for it. As long as we're doing a good job, uh, get paid well for it. Do, you know, I, I that's my main philosophy is I go out and I do gigs and I expect to be paid this and that. Yeah. I'm also very aware that it's a very privileged position that I'm in, in mm-hmm. the fact that I get to go out. And yes, I do do something that I enjoy. Sometimes I don't enjoy it. There's a lot of work that goes on behind, like practicing and all that. But really, you know, it's yeah, I was, my friends had a great analogy of, of, of talking about actually working. Like they said, they said to him, um, Cool. You, how old are you? He said, oh, I'm 53. They said, Cool, you look good for 53. He's like, well, I've never really done a like, full day's work. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Said, you know, I don't, so there, there comes this thing of, of that it, it's, you know, uh, all musicians are thinking all about their own thing because mm. it, and not just musicians, you know, uh, 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 theatre, and uh, but it goes all the way along the line. But I think yeah. musicians are, because they can't actually, because everything is, is very much hand to mouth with a lot yeah. of musicians. Yeah. So therefore, and those who haven't been, because the musician being a musician that's just all right arts and all that but yeah. as I'm a musician I'm talking about being a musician yeah people make that break into I'm going to be a professional musician and I'm going to do this for a living yeah. and that's what I'm going to do but what it means is that people are already at the maximum a lot of the times are at the maximum of their capacity oh yeah we've moved into a new flat but it's oh I'm gonna to have to find an extra yeah. 50 quid a month and, and suddenly that's all noticing now because if you were just making ends meet yeah it's suddenly you, you can't make any ends meet and with the latest thing that they've you know whatever what they're offering i mean i i haven't looked i'm not looked into it i'm luckily i'm in a position where i'm sort of okay for a bit you yeah. know but there's um but i've been you know speaking to lots of people and uh, it's very worrying time because yeah. and a sense and also all that frustration and anger that people have in their daily lives as musicians of walking around being annoyed by everything <laughs> um you can normally go and get that out by fucking playing yeah 
and now you can't. And so people are inside and they're going fucking Mental. mad. Yeah. And and they're looking. Whereas they used to dip into Facebook and have a look and see what people are saying, and then go out and meet with other people. And you know, if you come and I'm someone who's quite upbeat about everything, really. Yeah. But in a in a in a I can I can be upbeat about it. And and so you know, someone could come to me and they could be moaning about something. I could turn it around and have them laughing in a fucking second. And yeah. go, well, it's not that bad. It could be this, yeah. you know. And that's what you have to. I think you have to look at actually. Like we, but there's people who are work like NHS now, working like mad, yeah, like yeah. absolutely mad. And the fact is, people are going, oh god, the NHS are working like mad. They work like mad all the, all the fucking year. Yeah. Like I was, I did a gig in Tenerife four weeks ago. I didn't get the thing there, by the way, and bring it back. <laughs> I was in the hotel next door to that one, but uh, we were doing a gig out there, and and the trombone player's wife, she came out on holiday. She had a week off, huh. um, and she's a she's a NHS uh, worker, and she was telling me she does f- fifty six hours a week or yeah. something. Yeah, and I was just like, fucking hell! Yeah. I was sat around by the pool. I'm like, you must be loving this, you know? She's yeah. like, I. It's like, it's like, and she's some, and there's people who, you know, they're not necessarily, they don't own places, they yeah. don't do that. That's that's what they do every fucking day. Yeah, man. And I'm going, and then and then I'm thinking, hang on a minute. So I'm very, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to scratch my uh, balls there, but um, but um, that's what I do now, sit around scratching my balls. Um, but it, you know, it, that hit it home even then before all of this. Yeah. Yeah. I was just sat there going, fucking hell. I was like, oh. I was thanking her then. Yeah. You know, and I, you know, God, God knows with this situation, it must be fucking hard. So it's, yeah. it, there becomes the ego and selfish slight. Oh, I've lost you. I've got that bit. There's always people worse off because you'd probably sat in your flat saying that. Yeah. For a start. Yeah. You sat in your flat that actually in this time, nobody's going to kick you out of your flat. No. It, that, that, so you know that for a start is a thing but I'm, and I'm not saying oh we'll get over it you know I'm saying right okay take stock and go well hang on a minute I am lucky that I'm indoors and yeah. sat here yeah. like, like fucking people on the streets the rely on other people on the streets yeah. and there's fucking nobody on the streets yeah. now well if, if if everyone was listening to what they're meant to do there'd yeah. be nobody on the streets yeah. but um, so it, it's a really and I think musicians are finding it and I'm sure if we were to go on to actors you know, West End, West End shows. Although I don't know whether they're covered because they're on wages or I think a lot. I don't know, man. but it's basically it's all a bit fucked. It is all a bit fucked. I mean, we can't. I'm with you, man, because like I'm. You know, the main the main thing for me, I'm not like now. Intro. I can still buy food. I've got a bit yeah. of money saved away, and yeah. things are okay. And it's a lot worse for certainly, man. Man, people on the street. Yeah, I don't know what the f- I don't know what like what you're supposed to do because we, we were there was a point when we were like uh, moving house right in the middle of this whole thing. We we're just thinking like, well, if we have to self isolate and we don't have anywhere to stay, you know. Yeah, but it yeah, must be so bad for for those people. I think with with musicians, like you said, we're all exactly what you said. We're all everything is so based on our ego and like not in a bad way ego you know no 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 everyone's got ego Evil, even everyone if it's, has it yeah everyone's got an ego even if it's like oh god you know if you say tell someone like oh god call you uh, in music oh you played great tonight oh yeah. well it was a bit like yeah. that it's like, fuck it, that's almost the worst ego because yeah. you have to fucking then go oh no you did oh yeah. fuck it like fucking hell i've oh, got to man. work for your own ego yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just, like, I almost prefer it if someone comes in and goes, fucking hell, did you hear me tonight? That's fucking brilliant. So, like, oh, great. Is that what you thought? Wicked. Great. Right. Yeah. Nice. I don't yeah. have to work for it. But but it must be so... And But actually, so going back to the musician thing, it must be... If you're living... and Which most... Especially on the jazz scene, yeah. you know... And I, this is another thing I said. A lot of these clubs and venues in, in the UK are put together by volunteers who often lose money yeah. anyway. Yeah. And they did. So the whole scene that a lot of people yeah. play on and survive on is a scene that's been made by people just to keep the survival. So it's already yeah. at survival stage yeah. anyway. Yeah. And now it's gone into massive. But I, I like to think that musicians are pretty with that kind of ego of, of looking after, right. What's going to happen to me? I think that people will, 
be able to look, be able to, you know, dig deep and go, well, hang on a minute, fucking hell. I, there's a reason I played music and it's because of this. It's like, you know, I think there's going to be some fucking good music written. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That man, I, I hope so. I, I mean, I've been trying to do that, but I find it really difficult at the moment to get fully inspired. I think everyone's in different places with it, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that that will, uh, that will happen for me. I mean, I sat, well, I think it, I sat in the shed, uh, uh, not in, just in, we got where we've moved to. There's a shed that's going to become a studio, but yeah. that's obviously on hold. But um, so I've been sitting in there and I started to write things. And I was like, right, what do I want to write? What do I want to do? Then normally you'd get someone to come round. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, I write with, with Joe Webb. I say I write with Joe Webb. Basically, I write and then Joe Webb puts it together and goes, well, why don't you do that? that, that, that. He sort of, my fucked up mess. Yeah. Goes, Joe just goes, oh, right. Yeah. He puts it. To, he puts it to there. So. Well, we can. But, you know, there is still. That's the thing. That sort of thing can still happen. The internet still makes yeah. it happen, right? We'll still be okay with that until it goes down. Until it goes down. Yeah. <laughs> God, that would no, be that would be terrible. It wouldn't be good, would it? But yeah, I don't know. And so, like, but what does it feel like for you? Like, you know, you're so busy all the time. You're always doing. You're always. You're always. Pro- I, I know that you book loads of stuff for different people you do book stuff for yourself and you book stuff for bad manners what yeah. you also play in and then you go around you play all over the place uh writing music like what does it feel to like to just suddenly i guess the main thing for you must be like the planning things di- the, the the planning tours is impossible it's well difficult. now I've, what i've found is what what i've i've looked at it and and I'm, I'm realistic with everything that I do. I like to think I'm realistic with everything I do, yeah. but I don't try and look beyond what it is that I'm actually doing. So um, with bad manners, so uh, April the 28th, we were going on tour for five, five weeks, yeah. America, South America. Um, and we before that, we were meant to do two weeks in Europe. I mean, every everything that cancelled. So, so it's eight weeks immediately cancelled. Mm. Now it's like trying to... And the trouble is all these places, they're rescheduling and everyone's going, oh, do it in the fall, do it in the fall, do it in the fall. No, I, I'm afraid to say everything was booked up already for October, November. My diary, I'm, my diary's full till the end of the year, you know, yeah. and it's, and, and so that uh, from a, 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 a physical point of stuff, what I found myself actually doing, which sounds mad, is cancelling gigs that haven't cancelled me. Yeah. So to make way, like what I actually think would be a good thing uh, for people is actually if there are gigs in September, October, November, December, that is the bit that should be moved. And then this moved just one leg round. Right. Um, but I look at it all when I think, because obviously it is a worry. It doesn't matter how many save, how much savings you've got or what you do. It's, you know, if you can survive for a bit, but you've got to think it is actually your job. And you, I mean, so I've, the first bit, I don't think it's really sunk in for me too much because I was, going to be off anyway yeah um but it has given me time to i have i haven't really started emailing about all these things i'm just waiting to see what comes back and what because it is actually a a a, a, a total nightmare like there's one festival in in uh, las vegas has moved to september the 12th Mm -hmm. whereas the one no yeah and then the one in la has moved to october right um but it it doesn't and then then the one in Mexico has moved to Jul- end of July if it's going to be happening. Wow! So so suddenly your your six week tour doesn't kind of match up. Yeah, yeah. And and plus there's things with deposits have been sent. Visas are in the middle of, in the middle of getting American work visas. Everything's right in the middle. So so that's the bad manners pile. Yeah. My pile is I'm just I so all of those gigs have gone. The five gigs that I did have in they just went you know yeah. which is you know and then I'm looking. I've, I'm just, I'm just literally just waiting to hear what people say because there, there is actually nothing you can do about it. Oh, nothing you can do, eh? Because and there's people I can see who are getting wound up, and if you if you get if you're really worried about money and how you're going to survive and pay rent and all that, that is fucking terrible. That is, yeah. it's the worst. I I've been through stress. I fucking well, two three years ago. I I don't know if you know this, but I won I won thousands of pounds gambling. I won a hundred and. I won 136 grand gambling and then I fucking gambled it all away and I lost it all. And then I went into fucking 60 grand's worth of debt. Jesus. You know, 
I know what it's like if you haven't got any fucking money, and I know what it's like if you have got money. It's it's all it's all shit. Yeah. Money is shit. Money's rubbish. Yeah. But but you unfortunately you need it. But um, but the thing is, there is nothing you can do about the actual gig side of it. Yeah. And unfortunately, with music, music is a fucking it. It's not. It's not a total necessity. Yeah. Like 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 music isn't gonna actually fucking sort this virus out or heal people. No. It 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 might do afterwards. People are going, thank fuck we can go do that. But the, you know, so unfortunately it, it is always the first thing to go. Yeah. And Yeah, and, and I think we have to accept that. And 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 basically just we have to find a way to survive until the point that music is a necessity. Because there is a point in time where you know when things stop being so so uh, so brutal as in when we when we stop worrying about people dying so much that's where music is well i mean that's what that's that's the actual that's the that's the reality of it yeah. because you know even you know music is is things that people go and do as pleasure as a joy as a you know with often with you know people who've got excess money will yeah. will go to think i mean uh mates if i tell them i'm doing a gig They'll go, yeah, I'll come to it. Can I be on the guest list? Yeah. I mean, if your fucking mates won't pay to come and see you, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's, it's surely going to be the fucking first thing to go. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, man. Yeah, we, yeah. But we just have to accept it. I agree with you. Like trying to try to do anything other than that, you, you'll go crazy in your room. But um, what are you doing to sort of keep yourself sane when you're in inside? So when I'm inside, what am I doing? So so because I tour a lot. Um, and I'm never really home. Um, it's nice to spend time with my girlfriend. Nice. So I've been on tour pretty much since October. I'd had about uh, 12 days at home yeah. since October. And we've just moved to a new house. So we're here, and myself and my girlfriend, we're running a um, – Andrea Goldsworthy, that is. Yeah. Um, and we're running a thing on Instagram, Instagram Live. We decided to do a – well, Paloma Faith did a did an Instagram live from her account, and we tried to do. She tried to do playing with her piano player, but the link up kind of thing, and then she got me on to play a bit of clarinet and Andrea playing bass, and um, of course it was fucking horrendous. It was terrible, yeah. Yeah. So, but then people said, "Oh, Adrian, Andrea, why don't you do a little thing every day at seven uh, thirty nice. of an evening?" So we said, "All right, fuck it." So. We did it on Thursday and we had a couple of people join us, on, yeah. you know, and then yesterday we did it again and we had Baby Soul. She came on and spoke. We had Ray Gelato yeah. came and spoke to us and then Paloma came back on. who's going stir crazy at home. Yeah. <laughs> so so we decided to do that. Um, so that that's something that's it, like my girlfriend said, she goes, that's something that, like we you got to get up and get ready for. Yeah. At least we know that at 7:30 that's happening. And also what we've done is we've if you wait one second, yeah. hold on. It's relative. I believe you. <laughs> I'm just shutting the door. Um That's probably back to front to you, isn't it? I know, it says Saturday. Saturday. So writing a list. So Rocky Painkiller that was 12 o'clock. Rocky is our dog. Um, right. who, who actually, Rocky, he's got, um, he, we got him from Battersea Dog's home. He's got problems. He can't go out. He can't be socialized. Amazing. Uh, so, I mean, this is the time when the training is really coming in. So it's like 12, basically we've made a list to do everything to do every day. 12, 2 p.m. to do Adrian to unpack some of the shelves oh i don't like the look of that <laughs> put the shelves up oh dear um and then you know and then it's 7 p.m get ready 7 30 instagram live so that's something that's keeping you know that's keeping a slight bit of normality and talking to people yeah um and i think it's nice because you know some people have mixed views they go oh you know you're being joyous and happy on a on Instagram whilst, you know, some people are really suffering and, you know, and there no, that's some always people, the case. Like we, if some people are struggling to pay rent. It's like, well, fucking, you know, yeah, that, but that's yeah. always the case. There's it always someone been. having a fuck, you know, I mean, we have to try and make light of it. Not yeah, well, it, not, not specifically it, that, but, but as, our as situation. As situations happening, yeah. you know, you do the best that you can yeah. to, 
to get through it. And if it is doing something stupid or silly, like being on Instagram talking, you know, we had 3,000 people come on it by, yeah. or have, have, have watched it by the end of, by this morning I woke up. And it's like, you know, there's a lot of people and everyone there from last night's one had just put nice comments and was like, oh, this is fun, you know. So, yeah. Which is, you know, that's something. And also, um, trying to raise a bit of money for musicians who are struggling. Myself and a bass player called Ben Martin, mm -hmm. he runs a band called The Fallen Heroes. We had a discussion. We said, what, what could we do? So we've decided that we're going to run a couple of concerts mm. um, because you're still allowed to hang out with certain people if, you know, if you do it sensibly. Yes. Uh, it's, to be honest, man, it's, uh, the government advice is so difficult to understand at the moment. I was like, going to say it is a weird one because they say like no one's what I want them to say is, hey, you are allowed to go to the shops to get food. Yeah. No one says that bit. Yeah. No one said that bit. So you got to like, you know, Google like, it. You know, it's it, the the thing, the blanket of what you are and what you can't do is so big. I know two people who have got it. Yeah. Two, two friends who have got it. And they're sort of, and and it was quite interesting to see it's guitarist Sam Lewis. We spoke to him last night on the Instagram. On the Instagram, God, I'm getting old. <laughs> on the Instagram. We, on the it was on the Instagram where Sam was there. and we went on and and it was almost not refreshing, but yeah. it was uh, to see someone who's got it, who's chatting away, going, "Well, look, yeah. last three days have been pretty shit, and today's the worst day." It's yeah. like, oh man, I just can't out of it. It goes, and my wife's going to get it now, you know. I've got the two kids here, but they seem to be totally immune to it all, you know. And But actually, it was, we were asking him questions. Can you eat? And he's like, no, no chance of eating. But the fact that he was there talking on the yeah, thing. it makes it more of a... Like and then you sort of part of you think, well, shall I just fucking get it yeah. and get it? But, I, but it's still, it's very confusing. It's, you know, it's... Um, but all like you say, the guidelines that they set out of what you can do, what you can't do. So our idea is... We said, right, how do we we do a Facebook Live or we might use this other thing, but um, but the way to get people to pay to come to a, to a concert, basically. So we've set up a, a mail list, which you can subscribe mm. to. Um, and, then, and then once you click on that, we're going to send you an email uh, with a donation page. Uh, and once you've made a donation, you will then get sent the link to the private Facebook group. Yeah. And then, then you then you get joined to the private members uh, private Facebook group. So, and we're keeping the numbers down on it. We've like limited it to a hundred people so that for each concert, so that there can be a bit of interaction, bit yeah. of chat, and so that it doesn't all get blocked up. Because yeah. I've noticed that a lot with people. Facebook Live's gone mad. It's like fuzzy and. But that's so we're going to do one of them on the 29th. He's going to do one with his band, and then I'm going to do one with a guitarist called Simon Picton on the on Monday. And we're doing yeah. them in, in the afternoon, that Cafe Bohem time. You know? Ah, nice. We thought, well, all those people who come down Cafe Bohem, sort of four till yeah. four till six. So so we've decided to do we've decided to do that, and that's something that is it means that because we spend a lot of our time advertising what we're doing, and yeah. that's another thing that. Now we're sort of advertising shit that we've done in the past yeah. and going, hey, do you remember us? We did this. Yeah. Do you remember how you came to my gig for free and didn't buy a CD? Do yeah. you want to buy Please one now? buy it now. But I've found people, I've sold over 40, 40 CDs and vinyls in the last three days, which, yeah. is, which is brilliant. Yeah, we did okay you know? as well, actually. London Django Collective, we sold a lot of stuff on Bandcamp. Yeah, oh, did you do good camp, yesterday so. on Bandcamp? Yeah, it was all right, actually, yeah. So have they wavered fees for they the month? They waived fees for a day. That's nice. Man. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. A whole <laughs> no, I did, day. I did hear that it was it was um, it was uh, locking down when people tried to go on to it. Well. Oh right. Yeah. But but yeah, you did yeah. all right though. You managed to sell some. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. Man, I mean, it's just about looking for new ways to do things, eh? Like, I think we have to just get used to the fact that this is going to be a thing. Like, it happened to me just the other day. I was like. I guess we're all in shock at the moment and we're all like sort of in disbelief in a way. And then occasion, I think like everyone has their like moment and everyone's having their moments like sort of now when they're going, oh, right, actually this, this is like at least three months 
probably a year of things yeah. that, like completely different things running completely different to how we're used to it and as musicians we really do have to find ways to adapt yeah whether that be finding ways like you said this this the these online concerts or even just i don't know maybe just find other ways to make money and to be so we can make our music when like you said when it is needed because at the moment yeah. maybe are we needed? I don't know. We are, I guess. I mean, I, don't I feel, know, it, I feel not it as much. is needed. I feel it is needed, but it, it, in the same way that it's, it, uh, I think music, I mean, as a musician, I feel music is terrible. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think music is really needed. Of you course. Know, yeah. To, for everyone. To, but as a, as an actual thing that, 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 you know, gets things done or, yeah. or, <laughs> um, it, I think there's, a, you know, there's other people in another world of, there's a in speed quizzing right which is a quiz thing uh on your phone that yeah. goes around london uh, my girlfriend's addicted to it but she goes um she spoke to the guy running that and she said oh what are you thinking of doing for online quizzing and that he's like oh, nothing he's like that's normally his job you know he said well i'm having to find another job to feed my family and, yeah and do that so it, it's got the trouble is no one wants to spend money at this time yeah no, no, people aren't going to be spending money and it's and so, therefore, the, the money that it is such a weird one because I'm sat here thinking, right, well, what do you do? Do you do because it's going to be inundated with with podcasts, yeah, um, and you know, and you know, live streams and things like. But I think other things will come out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, there'll be there'll be certain things, uh, uh, but and I just don't. I think it's a very it's still very unknown. But like yeah. I said. You look at three months and you go, hang on a minute, that's that. Where are we now? My April, May, June, middle of June, and yeah. this is the same. Actually, nobody knows. Yeah. So, no again, me saying, oh, yeah, well, you can't do anything, so don't worry about that side of it, but you do have to worry about it. What I mean is that, that you, you can't work yourself up or try and find a solution because the solution will happen, I think. Or, yeah. Or if it's not a solution, then it's, hello. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> You're in the video. No. <laughs> that's, why, that's why you moved the washing over. Over. Well, actually, it wasn't, but um, it still didn't but, work. <laughs> um, what are you doing? Uh, what, other, what ideas have you come up with, or do you not want to share them? This is one of them. <laughs> Um, this is I one of them. I think this is a great idea. Speak to a load of musicians. I think it's and, um, uh, yeah. Basically, the idea is to just have a little a little sounding board for people for and also for people to who are sitting at home who are, who have lost their sort of because actually the thing is with music is like half of it's half of it is like the music or probably more well more than half of it but a lot of it is the music but then a lot of it's a social thing like well what, yeah of course people. We this is when There's we see our friends. Go to, people go out to music. And not, it might be for the venue. It might be that. It's not, you know, how many times, I remember when I was smoking, you know, you used to go, oh, go and watch a band. You know, first tune, listen, second tune, listen, third tune, roll a fag, go outside. Yeah. Chat to someone, come back in on the break. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but that, that doesn't mean I'm not enjoying what the music is creating. Yeah. You know? but, but without that, I think things like this are very much needed. Yeah, I just it's, I like podcasts. It made, you know, I was basically I was like I've st- I used to listen to loads of podcasts and then I stopped and then just this week I was like, "Oh, I wonder what this one's what's going on with this one." And then I suddenly realized like, yeah, this is the time, you know, podcasts. Yeah, cuz and all those things that you listen to that they've all started to evolve, you know, uh, in different ways, yeah. you know, from when you were listening before. Podcasts are brilliant. I've and also, I got into interview. There's a there's a bass player called Alan Shipton. Who, oh yeah, he does yeah, yeah, jazz yeah. record requests, and he's one of these who's fucking met everybody. Yeah. And, and I've done a, did a couple of gigs with him where he drove drove me to the gig, and I yeah. I was saying, oh, he was saying, what's one of your best concerts you've been to? And I said, oh, I saw Ramsey Lewis, the pianist yeah. at, at Ronnie Scott's. And he went, oh, I interviewed him. I was like, what fucking hell? <laughs> so and then he sent me that, and then so I listened to that again this week. You know, yeah. there's, and I think. Is, I'm just about to set up the the uh, book, the, the new shelves in the new house. Nice. And Andrea's going to put all her books out. And she's like, oh, fucking hell, it's time. I've been moaning that 
there's a lot of people who have been moaning anyway. Oh, I never have time to do this. I never yeah. have time to do that. Now I time. spoke to Joe Webb, who's like, well, I'm, I'm finishing, getting on with finishing my album, you know. And yeah. Then I, then I was, I've been asked to do some, um, some music for a, for a, a documentary that's yeah. coming out later on this year. So that's an exciting thing. So it's, there's still little elements of excitement, but there's, there's, so, there's a few musicians who I've spoken to have actually said, I'm a little bit excited as well. Yeah. There's a weird kind of excitement. Because I think there's a, there's a reason you become a musician, and that's because I think there's a reason. I'm very good at time on my own. Mm-hmm. I, I spend an awful lot of time on my own. Yeah. In hotels, on airplanes, traveling, you know. Sorry about the carbon footprint, but um, but I spend a lot of time on my own, and I'm 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 more than happy on my uh, like yeah. with my own thoughts in my head and go. But I know a lot of people aren't, yeah. and uh, like, I think mental health will will be a will be a struggle for a lot Definitely of people. Will. Yeah, and I I think maybe there's you know it, that's another thing I I found myself is um, messaging messaging people. Not just people who I think are, are, you know, not just people, oh, I want to make, oh, right, I'll message you, but people also I think who might be struggling a little yeah. bit at this time. And and I know that, you know, and I, I might sound some of the things I say a little blase, like, well, you know, but I don't mean that. Like no, that. No. I'm just saying, you like, there's, mm. there's fuck all I can do about this situation. I can't do anything about yeah. when my next gig's going to be. I can't do anything. Yeah. So, Rather than fucking sit here going, I'm trying to fucking yeah. get my head about, right. So, right, okay, so let, I'm going to give it two weeks. I was having fucking five weeks off anyway, but it's like, it's, it's, I'm going to give it two weeks and then fucking start, you know, going, right, hang on a minute. Let's see how this looks. If we go into lockdown for fucking, yeah. and they keep talking about lockdown. There was a, you know, a fake news thing going around with all the, all the yeah. army are on their way down, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I got the same text message from about eight or nine different people. My yeah. friends in the, in the, you know, so, but I, I think mental health is, a, is a, a real, a real strong issue that I think will, it will take a toll. And I think maybe, you know, that's a, that that's a, a podcast thing on it all on its own. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Musicians yeah. and and health, yeah. keeping healthy mentally at this time. Yeah, because I think it, people, a lot of people will suffer. And musicians, you know, it, as we are, fucking musicians are fucking mad anyway. Yeah, all of them. yeah. You know, it's, it, everyone's on the edge. It's just, <laughs> but it's it's a matter it's a matter of how you how you use that. I've just noticed the picture behind it says Happy Days. Your picture. <laughs> I can't see it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy days. You see Jesus. It? Oh wow. Maybe I should have moved that out of the picture. Now, nah, well, if I've still got my, if I just move, if I've still got this. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. You can keep um, your happy days. But I mean, there's people. I think the thing is to make sure that we keep talking to each other. Yeah. And things man. like this, I think, are a brilliant thing. You know, and I, what are you plan? What are your plans to do this with? One a day with someone, or get a bank of them done up. Or? I'm thinking, I'm thinking not one a day. I'm thinking at least once a week, uh, right. if not, if not more. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just sort of running with it as it as it comes. Actually, at the moment, I'm trying. I basically had this idea and thought, you know, man, I want to hear these interviews, so I'm going to do them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know i like this is what i want to hear so i'm going to do them and uh and we'll see what comes of it and see if uh see if well i think i think it i think it'll be good for you yes in a personal a personal thing i think it'll be good for you if you know that this time you're doing this yeah and i'd say, I'd say and it'll be interesting to see how they how they progress as in the, with the with the current climate of what's yeah. happening you know you speak because every day is different you know i think it would be interesting true, to, if you i i actually think that now is the time to speak to people like one a day would yeah. be fantastic yeah because, that could be a good idea because the situation today is that uh, as we know it it's a pretty shit deal for yeah. a self-employed person uh, yeah. self-employed in the person. UK. so in the uk so as a musician, so as being a musician, as a musician, it's a pretty shit deal. Yeah. Like someone earning 30 grand is going to get 80%. Uh, someone earning 30 grand is going to get, what is it, 70% or 80% of yeah. their income. Whereas self-employed, 
no, uh, 93 quid a week or yeah. something you can get, yeah. which is about four and a half grand or something, yeah. five grand. So that's the situation that we're in today. But I think if you were to speak to someone tomorrow, we're going to... It could be different. It would be, be very different. So I, I, would, I would like it if you did at this time one a day all right you don't have to put them all out at the moment i mean it's a good just, it's a good point i, I, I mean, think it, wrestling with that idea anyway so it's good to hear and, that and just to let you know if you think oh will people think it's too much yeah. will people not want it people have got fuck all to do <laughs> right so i mean i'll always share it and go right come on yeah come and speak them up and you know i think if you put it out there, it, there you know there's a lot of there's people who have a massively different stance on what no, know, what yeah. mine is. You know, yeah. mine. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm privileged fucking white guy living in London yeah. playing music for a living. Yeah, that's that, that, that's me. But then I know, that, you know, it's 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 completely it's, different everywhere. I it's agree. fucking totally different for everywhere. Everybody. You know, it'd be be good to get a get one of your northern friends on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking what's a podcast? I don't yeah, know what yeah. that is. How do I do this? What Skype? Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, I could Can do. I? Yeah, I've got a lot of northern friends. Yeah, it would be interesting to to have on there. But I think I think at this time, it's, with this Instagram live that we've been doing every day at seven thirty, is at seven thirty. Make sure you tune in. Every day but, um, at seven thirty. But the but the thing is, um, somebody said to me, "Oh, have you filmed it? Like oh. filmed what we're actually doing?" And I said, "No." And someone said, "Now's the time to do that." You hmm. know. It's all one of those things of where you go, oh, fucking hell, we should have filmed that from the start. Or yeah. We should have done, you know. So yeah. I think, you know, I think if you were to look back on this in three months' time and you go, oh, fucking hell, why didn't I do every day? Yeah. I mean, you can do every day for a week. And if you don't like it or it's not working, I don't see how it's not going to work. Everyone has a fucking opinion yeah. on this yeah. at the moment. And now is the time to get them because they'll fucking want to talk about it. And I think, you know. This right, you've is- changed my mind. I'll do it every day. Please do. You did it. Yeah. Because this, for me, is this is good. Like I, like, I got up earlier today because I knew I had this. Yeah, yeah. So everything started a bit earlier. The, the, the workout I was going to, like, if we look on here, um, Rocky Painkiller at 12 p.m. Well, I gave Rocky his painkiller at half nine. That mm. was after I'd done my, look, workout, 4 p.m. Yeah. I'm fucking, I've time traveled. Yeah. I'm ahead of myself by about yeah. fucking five hours. So it's, you yeah. know, and I knew I had this, and so, and because I knew I had this, I fucking got up. There's something I've been making sure I do is get ready, like I said, for the you know yeah. wet dress. But this morning I was, I had, a, I had a shower, I got up, and like, because I think a lot of people go into well, fuck it then, because yeah. that'll be it'll be all them signs of yeah. like, oh fucking hell, right, we got to stick together. I mean, yeah. people who went out last night on the piss, yeah. you know, oh it's our last night, fucking idiots, idiots. I'm afraid, yeah. like My, fucking. Uh, I think that that's. Uh, I don't want to be. I don't know if they'll ever listen to this, but my neighbours, <laughs> I think that's what they did. Yeah, right. When I've heard people say, "Oh, yeah, we were out last night in the park," I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, come on." Because people go, even if it's not going to affect you, it might affect somebody else, and that's. Yeah, no, I agree. Everyone's sort of like, "Oh no, it's fine. I'm young." It's like, yeah, but your grand's going to die. It's like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, I mean that's it. My mum's got cancer, and she's she's at home, and she. Two yeah. days ago, she nipped down to the chemist. My sister went absolutely yeah. mental. Uh, the week before that, <laughs> the weekend, so, yeah, last weekend, we spoke, my sister sent a four-page, a four-page uh, thing, yeah. email, saying why uh, uh, patients with blood cancer shouldn't go out and uh-huh. shouldn't do this, right? So this is when it just sort of started yeah. in the UK. And... And my my mum sent her a text back saying, "Oh, sorry, I only just got this message. Um, I'm on my way to Exeter on holiday. Don't worry, I've got some wipes." <laughs> Jeez. But anyway, she's back now. So we told you know when she got back, you know she stayed in. Yeah. She went down the chemist good. the other night, but she got a, a, a bollocking for it, so that's all right. I think yeah. she's going to stay in. Ah, uh, well, good. <laughs> you know, it's just take it's, man. It takes everyone. Everyone's taking a while to get our head around it, and I think our government isn't helping. I think our government is being quite blasé, or they have been. And I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, the stance with the government is. I mean, the fact my in my my take on it is that each one of those people who stands up and fucking talks at when they do the thing or that 
knows so much more about it yeah. than I do. Yeah. And all I can hope is that what they, you know, there's, there's, you have to, whether you voted for them or not or whatever the fucking thing, you know, it's, you have to trust that they know a bit more about it. I agree. But, I agree. You have to stick I, with government advice. That's, that, that's the way that's that we have to do it. If we, what's the point in a government if you don't do that? Yeah. That, and that's, a, that's the, that's the thing. So with that, we're go- you can think it, I'm not saying you, one can think <laughs> it's shit out of there. But you know, the other week when people go, why aren't we going into lockdown? Yeah. Like, Hang on a minute. Surely should be going. Fucking hell. We're a bit lucky here. We're still allowed freedom of actually yeah, to yeah, go no, out. Yeah, that's true. We're actually allowed to do it. What you're actually saying is, please imprison me in my home. No, I know that. But the other side yeah. of that is like, like the Boris, the Boris uh, government is. They don't like the nanny state thing because it no. because it doesn't because it doesn't align with their no, it, principles. With their, it really doesn't. Yeah, no. I was talking to somebody about this the other day or yesterday. Yeah. And it doesn't align with their principles. And I'm worried that they're just trying to stick. And this is the thing in times like this, people still set, try and save face. You know, even yeah. politicians are still trying to save face still trying on, to both save face. Yeah. on both sides. On both sides. You know, people are like, no, no, but we still believe this. It's like, no, no, no. Throw it out the window. That is finished now. Yeah. Everyone comes together. What's the fucking thing we should be doing? Yeah. And, and do it now. Oh, and not like we're going to deal with it like this because, it, yeah, it's, all I, all, I, all I can say is I just, you know, you've just got to trust. You've got to trust and it, and I agree with if, you, man. And I if someone's told me to stay indoors and said the best thing you could do, Adrian, to not get this and to not pass it on to other people is to fucking stay indoors. Yeah. And so I'll tell you what I've done is I'm fucking staying indoors. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going out. Yeah. I'm not... The, the only time I went down to Tesco's to get some stuff and I didn't fucking buy loads of shit. Yeah, yeah. I just bought normal stuff for like yeah. the next sort of three or four days yeah. and that and that's what i did and yeah. we got we got you know i didn't fucking buy loads of loo roll i didn't no. fucking buy i don't think i bought any loo roll no. yeah fuck it wash your ass you know what i mean <laughs> don't matter, fucking buy water yeah. yeah but it's but I, it's you have to you know because the the fact is the people it, there's a lot of people going well fucking hell they don't know what they're talking about Da, 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 we're going to go out and do this. Yeah, man, like, the last thing. Well, well you're yeah. not actually doing what they're saying, so therefore there's no statistic on it. Yeah, I agree. No, yeah, I, it's that's, fucked. That's true. If we all did it, and in, in fucking three months' time, the fucking thing's still spreading around worse than ever, yeah. it's like, right, fucking hell, it's something bad. Or if we all carried, you know... No, man, I, I agree. that It's just that they haven't legislated again. Like, they haven't like forced people to stay in. They've said, guys, could you just stay in? No. And, and that's the problem is the, the people that you're complaining about. Well, that's about, the thing is because as soon as they, they just... enforce it, people will become unruly. Do you think? I, I think that, I think, mind you, they didn't do it with smoking, did they? No. But um, I think, man, I, I mean, that's, that's what I fear that they're worried about is if they enforce it and say, right, you now have to stay in your thing, people will go, fuck this, and then go out. And then, then it becomes an army matter. Yeah. And, and it needs bigger things. At the moment, you know, it, a couple of days ago when he said, oh, we trust that the British public will do what what we tell them. You know, that's why we haven't enforced a, that was one of his things, you know. If we tell you, to be, that's why we haven't enforced a curfew or anything, because we yeah. believe that, you know, giving people the benefit of the doubt, you know, mm-hmm. that they will do, like, but fucking yeah. a lot of people are silly. Yeah, nice. No, and true. and we, you know, I can see it. I, I heard it in Tesco's five days ago, Um. I was in there and people were saying, right, what do you think is going to panic buy next? Yeah. And then they were going, oh, well, maybe we should get this. And then they were, there was like a whole <laughs> swarm of them going to the, going to the fucking aisle of trying to find porridge oats. And it's like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. But, but we, the, the fact is we just got to believe what, or to. not believe we've got to do what they ask. Yeah. We've got to do what they ask. Stay indoors, practice but, your instrument. Fuck it, yeah. As a musician, stay Just indoors practice. and fucking get better. Yeah. Learn how to fucking swing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we need to, you know what, like, what I was thinking about this, like, what we need to do is organize, like, the biggest London jazz party ever yeah. when we when this all blows over, you know? Yeah, it has like, to be, doesn't it? You know? Like, a, yeah. like, everyone, everyone who, like, hates each other, doesn't play with each other. Get everyone together. Yeah, you know, 
I could play with a few then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like you get everyone yeah. everyone in who plays jazz in London to just get to the same big room and Well that's the thing because out. everyone there'll obviously be, you know, we just need to find a big decent place and everyone come together and have a play because yeah. that'll be the thing that people are missing is, is Yeah is fucking actually being out there and doing it because it's yeah. also it's entertainment you know that, yeah. that's why look, things like you know things like this you know it's like chatting you, this is good for people you know fucking i know this is a bit of a cliche but like when fucking when they said the rise in you know people fucking having to go for therapy or yeah. doing this or doing that because they're not getting stuff off their chest yeah. you know and that they said oh that's because you know at, at Tesco's, people aren't talking to someone at the yeah. cashier. You know, they're yeah. fucking, they're you know, they're yeah. doing it themselves. You know, mm. and they're not going, oh fucking hell, did you hear about this? I know it's an yeah. old thing people say, but I think that's what's good about this. You yeah. know, like we're having a chat and we're yeah. talk, actually talking talking about things that are happening now. Yeah. Later tonight on Instagram, it'd be a bit more light hearted. You know, but not not really though. Yeah, it's sort of actually going. This is the. The fact is, I'm a fucking jazz musician, and then there's fucking Paloma Faith going yeah. through the same fucking thing. Yeah. And I'm going to try and get Jay Rayner to come on tonight. Yeah. You know, it's you know, he'll be good value. You know, because it, it's it, it's not just affecting me; it's affecting everybody. It's yeah. not just you, me, and that. it's it's everything. And all we can hope with not hope, but in this time, is that. You know, when you look down the chain of it, of like somebody renting a house, mm-hmm. they've got to pay their rent to the person who's got to pay their mortgage, yeah. who's got to get, then pay the mortgage yeah. to the bank, who the bank have fucking loaned all our money out a long yeah. time ago, you know. Yeah. So it, it, the chain carries on. So the best thing is if they freeze it all, that would be great. Yeah. You know, but obviously it yeah, just all comes right. down to money being a dick. You know, yeah. money's a dick. That's <laughs> Money yeah. is a dick. Money's a dick. <laughs> Maybe I can call this this episode "Money is a Dick." Yeah, that's it. Money is a dick. Where <laughs> yeah. do you, where do you stick yours? <laughs> well, I've not. I've got no dick at the moment. So, <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, we've all lost our dick. We've all lost it, man. Mind you, we got nowhere to put it. Either. <laughs> 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 so, who else are you going to get on? Who else are you going to get on to come? In? Uh, I've got a couple of people. Uh, um, there's a guy I know who, good friend of mine, who plays in Nubian Twist. He started that, that band. Yeah, get him on. Um, my friend John Woff, who plays with the 1975. I'm gonna get him on. Yeah. If you have any uh, any anybody you you would recommend, please please. Uh, please I, I'll tell you what, it would be good value for you. Yeah. Is Ray Gelato. Right. Because okay. he fucking, he, he's such a lovely, I'd spent a week in Tenerife with him and I didn't really know him. We'd seen each other at gigs and stuff. And I'll tell you what, he's an absolute beauty. Yeah. And, and fucking totally gets my mark of approval. Right. Hilarious. He's fucking lovely. And he, you know, and he's worried about it all. And he's, he, he's an entertainer who he needs to be out there and wants yeah. to, like we all are, you know, but he wants to be out there and he's worried about everyone. And yeah. he's, you know, he's a good guy. I'll put you in put touch because that would be good. I reckon get a promoter on as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Someone, maybe someone from a London venue, you know, maybe get Jack Abraham on. Yeah, that could be interesting. Yeah. I reckon that could be cool. Yeah. You know, just to see, because obviously Smitty's, you know, as, as a, as a venue, it's, it, 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 it keeps its, itself to itself in the way of, that we we get to all play there and make yeah. money from Kansas Smitty's being there, yeah. and in turn that makes Kansas Smitty's a bit of money. But it keeps it's a a, yeah. a, cer- a beautiful circle that means yeah. we can keep playing yeah. and they can keep running and, and building the whole thing and yeah. the band are somewhere. But all of that's gone now, yeah. just for for a bit. And I've seen that they're trying to sell uh, tickets online for future concerts, which yeah. I think is a great idea. Yeah, that's great because idea. the thing is, all these resources that people are pulling on, like. Can you buy? Can you buy my CD and vinyl? There's only so many there's only CDs so much and vinyl, money. and and there's only so many times you can do that yeah. thing. No, I agree. Yeah, and I I, agree. I I feel that you know I did another one today. I I was pushing Joe Webb's because Joe Webb had a, a ah. EP come out yesterday, so I, I pushed that out today. I was like, well, look, because um, you know, why don't you know see what you can do? But I mean, that's gonna 
that is at this moment people go oh yeah i'll support him i'll support him I'll yeah support but at some him. point man that's not going to be a thing. that's going to that's going to stable because who's going to support them yeah yeah exactly and, and and it's i mean that's more yeah and also when they say people who can work at home please work from home i mean fucking hell there's so many people who can't just work from home yeah it's like, i mean in a way we we are able to still do something like this you know you could it's something for yourself i'm thinking you could put a donation get yeah. you know a donation for your podcast you know what yeah, i mean yeah. i'll fucking give you a tenner for having me on as a guest you know <laughs> what i mean uh, fucking, but it, i think that it would be a good you know because other people there would be people who go oh fucking hell i want to see what it is like for musicians actually yeah, yeah. what are they how i've got you know people know us and they're yeah. going oh it'd be actually that'd be nice to see how uh our age or How's yeah. Ray feeling, or how's, yeah. Matt, how's Matt feeling about yeah. this? So, no, I you know, agree, man. I agree. Because, it, because something we might say might actually help somebody else. Yeah, I always you know, worry that I'm, go, oh, something shit, I'm going to actually. There is nothing I can do for two weeks, right? I'm yeah. going to fucking yeah, yeah. You know, do whatever. But yeah, I have to be careful not to like <laughs> say anything too stupid, though. For myself, I'm always thinking like, Jesus, I could. I talk a load of shit, you know. I don't, <laughs> and I know exactly what you're saying. I'm, I know nothing. I just I just play the violin and that's it. So, well, that's I, do, it. I do want to make a disclaimer: like, please don't take any of my advice, <laughs> just in case it goes wrong. Yeah, yeah. Don't take any advice that I've said today, <laughs> unless it works out really well for you. Then I'll send you my PayPal. Yeah, <laughs> details, and you can just you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we've done nearly an hour. So, oh fucking hell! Amazing. Well, do one. another one, and I'll look forward to seeing it. Let me know when you got this one up, and I'll share it. Yes, I'm hoping to get it up ASAP, to be honest. Okay. But <laughs> there's a bit of a lag with iTunes. iTunes have to accept you on, and I'm not sure if I want to put it up before, if I want to start pushing it before it's on iTunes. Because okay. I have another podcast, which is, I've learned yeah. all this from. The Violin. The Jazz uh, Violin Podcast, yeah. The Jazz Violin Podcast. Which I'd love to have you on, but you shit at Jazz Violin. So. Well, I, maybe I could. Take it up. I've got some time. Man, yeah. I'm doing Skype lessons. It's £100 a minute. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. I'll put me in for 20. <laughs> 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 All right, mate. All right, nice to hey, chat to you. Stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. Please don't go out. No, just don't go outside. Don't go out. It's very fucking easy. Don't go out. Just don't go out. Deliver it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, mate. Thanks very much for listening, watching... Please subscribe to this channel and click the little notifications button, the little bell in the where whichever side I'm pointing at. I, can't, I don't know which one it is. But click the little bell and click all notifications so you can see every episode as it comes. These are going to be coming out pretty regularly, so please subscribe. And uh, as I said, we'll be up on all the uh, podcasting apps really soon once iTunes picks us up. So thanks for listening. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,